Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. There is an English for grade 4. We are learning unit number 11. Lend a helping hand. Yes, my dear teachers, this is lesson plan and PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You will click it, download it or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 6, we will learn today about simile. And this is the figure of speech. We will cover up question number 8 on page number 86. Before in English for grade 4, we have already learned about adjectives. Because it is also a type of adjective, we can compare adjective with them. So that's why we have linked there. So today we are going to get more knowledge about it. So what's our today's students learning outcome my dear students? Use some common similes in speech and writing using like and as, as e.g. as black as coal. So we are going to get comparison today. Yes, my dear teachers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, Surah Nur, verse number 35, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. Yes, so can you get what is this? Yes, my dear students, this is simile. Yes, this is simile. How there is a comparison that Allah is light of heavens and earth. Okay, so this is a comparison of Almighty Allah. So yes, let's refresh our knowledge. What is a simile? So can you guess that, predict and share with your teacher. Pause that video teacher and get answer from your students. Okay, my dear students, I hope you have tried to give answer. So no problem, I'm going to give you concept about simile. What is a simile? Simile is a word that compares two different things using the word like, are, as. So, this is a comparison. Which type of word are simile? Simile is the way to compare two different things together. When we are going to compare things that how are these things, how these looks like, how are they in way. So we compare one thing to another thing. So then that is called a simile. So see few examples are there. Swimmers swim like a fish. So see there what we compared in this uh, example my dear students we compare like swimmers we compare with a fish. You know that fish also swim. So swimmers also swim. So swimmers swim like a fish. Next is there. They eat like a bird. So you can see how bird, how this bird is eating. Do you know that hen is also a bird? It also walks but it, it can fly also. So this is a bird also. So they eat like a bird. How they, quickly they are eating. So this is like is showing comparison. You are as quiet as a mouse. Yes. Do you know why there is a comparison between mouse? So mouse also walks slowly. How you can see the how it is walking that slowly, silently. So this that's why there is a comparison that you are as quiet as a mouse. So there we have used as. Next is example, Asad is as wise as an owl. Oh, how is Asad? Asad is very wise, clever. So how he is? He is as wise as an owl. So do you know owl is a wise bird? So that's why there is comparison. Next is, I am as solid as a rock. Yes. So how I am? I am as solid as a rock. So how you are? So you will judge yourself that how you are, you can compare yourself and you must be solid. Okay, my dear students. Okay, don't cry like a baby. Look, how this baby is crying. So you must not cry. Don't cry like a baby. So 
this is comparison that when you are crying, so you looks like a baby. Yes, while comparing things using as, then we have to keep as before adjective and after adjective. You can see there that we when we have to use while because there are two words are there for comparison like and as so while when we will use as then we will write as adjective as the noun that is going to be compared so see in examples that we have already got that you are as quiet as a mouse so judge in this example there is as and what is quiet? Yes, quiet is an adjective. And what is mouse? Mouse is a noun. So, okay, you got while using as. So, you will keep remembers that this is a rule to use as. So, first you will write as before an adjective and after an adjective, before a noun. Okay. So, like, when we will use like, when we compare things while using like, then we have to put adjective before like. So, see there. Okay, then we will, what we will do? We will put adjective before like. See in this example, swimmer swim like a fish. So, you will see there, this is a verb. Swim is a verb and like and noun so we will use there we have used swim swim is a verb but we can use here adjective also my dear student no need to be confused so we can use verb or adjective okay so we can say that she is cool like a cucumber so cool is an adjective so there is verb so we can put verb also adjective also okay no need to be confused okay let's act, perform an activity so here is a beautiful activity for you so be ready yes my dear teachers call students one by one near the board write five or six sentences using similes to describe themselves so yes my dear students and my dear teachers did you get that which type of activity we are going to do Yes, you will guide and you will call students near the board. You will write five to six sentences. It's up to you that you will write five to six sentences on the board. Which type of sentences? See there. My, my hair is yellow like the sun. Or I am as brave as a lion. Wow! Engage whole class in this activity and enjoy this funny activity and judge how students compare themselves. Courage students to perform confidently in front of class. Yes, so this is so funny activity. Each student will write about himself. Okay, they will write about themselves that how they are. So, they will compare themselves. Okay. Let's see and judge how students will compare themselves. Pause the video and perform this activity and enjoy. Welcome back and I hope you have enjoyed a lot. Because you have got that how some people and some of your friends, your classmates are. Because they have written their comparison by themselves. Okay, now it's activity time on book. Page number 86, question number 8. Yes, my dear teachers, get your students and get this assessment on your book individually. Pause the video and get that. Good job. I hope my dear teachers, you have judged that how much knowledge students have got through this activity. Yes, so what's our homework for today? Write eight sentences of similes like and as in your notebook. So you will write eight sentences in your notebook you, by using like and as. So this is worksheet and this worksheet is given below. My dear teachers, click it, download it and give it to your students so that we should get that how much knowledge and how much concept is clear to them. So, what we learned today? We learned today how we can compare to different things 
using similes like and as. We also learned the use of as and like while giving comparison. So, hi, we have used. So, in this way, we have cover up our SLO, use some common similes in speech and writing using like and as, e.g., as black as coal. Yes, my dear students and my dear teachers, I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture and this was a totally new lecture, new thing for you and you have enjoyed, I hope, inshallah. So, tomorrow with the, a new interesting lecture, see you soon, have, have a nice day, be blessed.